Grieving and processing the tragedy, tonight Bill Snyder shows us how those at Hancock High School are handling the emotional toll of this weekend's mass shooting and the loss of another cherished member of the community. The dawn of a new day and a chance to start the healing process in Hancock County. Several tragedies actually um, happened yesterday. It's with students, teachers, administrators and others here at Hancock High School were doing Monday morning in the wake of those shootings early Sunday, which left two former Hancock County students dead. We put a plan in place. Hancock County Schools Superintendent Rhett Ladner tells me before the teachers got here, there were 13 to 14 counselors on hand. This morning we started out focusing on our adults, our teachers as they came in about 7 a.m. this morning um, because we need to support them and um, they're, they're struggling with it. They're hurt, they're broken. We're going to roughly have about 13 counselors on site and then we're also going to bring in our area ministers also. So we've got a minister team of about 12 as well. And as students move in this morning, there's a center for them in the library that uh, students will be able to go to and then we'll adjust as we go through the day to see how we need to meet their needs. They were also processing something that happened Sunday with a former student here, Savannah Davis, who died in a boating accident. She graduated from Hancock in 2018. The main thing is giving everybody an, uh, an option of how they need to be supported. Um, some kids like to talk through it. Some kids just want to be by themselves. So trying to make both those options available. The hope is down the road, these tragedies can be put in the rearview mirror. But for now, the grieving and healing process begins. We battle for one another. We love each other. We support each other. And we've been through some things this past year with the officers, with Savannah, with the students, and there's been many other things, but we're gonna roll up our sleeves, we're gonna support each other, and we're gonna love each other, and we're gonna, we're gonna take care of one another. At Hancock High School, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now.